Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way. All right, ready to get underway. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. He wastes no time on this one, and that gives him a lead. It's 1 0. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump, and at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. The other way, gone. Got him on the off balance throw. And they get Bregman for the out. Uh, now it's Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. Why to kick the pitch? Swings and misses. Struck him out. Two outs, base is empty. Gainer Diaz up next for the Astros. Not even close there. And it's two and one. Two outs, base is empty. In there at the knees. Two and two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here on the south side, here's Tommy Pham. The right field. But you won. And that one fouled off. The pitch. On the ground, out to short. Zips it across. Going up on down. So up next for Chicago, Gavin Sheets. Got a slider inside right there. The batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Just no, missed. Ball. One out, base is empty. Line, and that's a base hit. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right no, there. Got it out front and lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now it's Luis Robert. This one lifted in the air, left field. That one gets down for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Next offering is downstairs. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ground ball, left oh. side, and foul ball. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. And out of here. Home run number 10 on the year. It's 3-1. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. And that's a fair ball. The throw into second, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder, so... He just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And here is Sosa to the plate. Benintendi leads off second with one gone in the inning. The next offering misses. And that's ball three. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that dugout and get the reset button. And next to hit for the Sox, Danny Mendon. That one the other way. 
Dubon steps on the bag, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. And we're back, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, number 28. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and the count is one and two. Left hand batter waits. And okay. another ball. High fly ball out into left center field. Benintendi sizing this one up. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. So next up for Houston, Jake That's Myers. The center fielder, Jake Myers. Got him swinging. So digging in, Jeremy Pena. There's a swing and a drive. Banks off the wall. Around first and hustling for second. He's there. It's a two out double. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Two outs. Swings and misses. It's a ball in two strikes. That one missed. It's a good take. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around third, he'll score easily. And it's a one-run game. Dubon into second, and he's got a double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of... Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around from second is the tying run. It's 3-3. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Swing and a miss as he was late. One, two. That one ripped right center field. And it's off the wall. Run comes in from second. It's 4-3. And that's a two-out double. Comes through with the RBI. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Swing and a miss struck him out. Mickey Lopez up to the plate. Left hand hitter waits. That one to first, Dubon. He takes it on his own. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. That one lifted to left. Alvarez heads towards it. Squeezes it. And there's two down. Back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in. The White Sox leadoff man. Tommy Pham. Two down. Nobody on. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I can watch base hits like that one all day long. And so can every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Digging in, Gavin Sheets. Roll save. That's a stolen base. And a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He's got it. That is the inning. Guaranteed right field. Out of the third inning. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. 
Elder. Yeah, the righty deals. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. And now the count filled up three and two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. And they add to their lead. It's 5-3. Cutter inside can be a bad breaker. You have to catch it out front to get the barrel to it. Does a really good job recognizing it early, getting the bat head to it, and hitting it out of the ballpark. Yainer Diaz digs in now. And that just misses. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The punch out there. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now that Next is the Number designated hitter. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Two outs, base is empty. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that one almost got him. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Tapped softly on the ground. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Hi. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Stepping in the long ball threat, Luis Robert. Pitch is in there, and the count one and two. And another ball. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. 2-2 two -two down. And that one is lifted in the air. One away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That Number front three, shoulder three, coming three, open three, instead three, of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one, one misses. And a count two and one. And it's fouled away. The White Sox trailing by two here in the last half of the third. That just misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ground off the door, that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all well, over that. that one. Couldn't, couldn't get in the air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. That timing mean, was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the end. Good feed, that's one, and that's get two. Here on the south side, start of the fourth. And stepping in for the Astros, Mauricio Dubon. That's a laser base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
now down. Right field. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. The pitch. Check swing, and he held up. Dubon on at first. Nobody out. That oh, one misses. Oh. Three and one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Oh. Unfortunately, they're making yeah. pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a pitch. Number 33 comes on now. This is his third time out this year. So the Houston lineup turns over. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab. Here's Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. The one two. Ground ball up the middle. Flips it. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. Lennon Sosa. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here's a 2 2. That's Rings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now that so up next, Danny Mendez. One down, base is empty. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one finds the zone, and it's 2 and 2. Swing and a drive, deep right field. And a superb diving catch. Just a great jump off the bat, and he was fully committed. Lays out, dives, makes a beautiful catch, and his pitcher is going to be pretty happy about that one. So digging in, Nicky Lopez. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Lifted in the air, right field. Sizes this one up. Makes the catch in and goal. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Alvarez. Ball to strike. Ball. And another ball. Two ball, one strike. And it's even up. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, okay. elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Oh. And that's off the Three inside goals. edge. And the count's full. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gets it there in time, though. So they get the first out of the inning. And now, Gainer Diaz. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And the right hander deals. Got it. Out number two. Two outs, base is empty. And next is the designated hitter. And there's a ball. Straighten him up a little bit. Oh. 
Next offering upstairs. Right through there for a strike. Three and two. home run and they add on it's 6-3 knew what pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off so two down Jake Myers up next for the Astros here comes a pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two Two outs. Good no, eye right there. The really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Hey. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Uh, Mike check. One, two, one, two. You know how it goes. One, one, two, one, two. That was the zip code. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now, Martin Maldonado. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The line of the pitch. And another ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. And down on strikes and one gone. Now Tommy Fan steps to the plate for the White Sox. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Safe at second. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Solid double down the line. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Hunter Brown. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. At the play, Gavin Sheets. Broken bat, and it's popped up. And there's two away. Luis Robert now. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter low average but high slug about one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics his exit velocity has been really good makes the grab and that's the inning new inning getting started and now the shortstop Jeremy Pena the shortstop Jeremy Pena that to right Coming on is Fam to make the play, and there's one down. The bat. Now at the, the plate, plate, Mauricio Dubon. Dubon. One down, base is empty. Two two. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Right-handed reliever. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Two outs. Base is empty. Chaz McCormick will hit next. McCormick. Kick Sandios. That one's in there, and that is strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Here comes a 3-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. 
swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bottom of the six. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. The first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. And the White Sox trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Outside low and a count two and one. Through there for a strike. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. Down the third baseman, Lennon Sosa. The 1 1. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, shallow left field. Alvarez makes the play, and that'll do it. Back here on the south side, top of inning number seven, here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. And he deals. In the air, out to center. Robert moves under it and makes the grab and there's one down and now it's Alex Bregman as good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand you cannot hang a breaking ball right there lucky it stayed in the ballpark and a 1 1 ball inside And another ball. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll circle the bases. It's 7-3. He got on plane with that high fastball. And look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. Crochet takes over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. That's down and in. One strike. That one finds the zone. And that's strike two. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in, Yainer Diaz. One run across to the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven. That's down and in, a slider missed. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. That one ripped. Robert reaching back towards the wall. Finds the wall and he makes the catch. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Danny Mendy. The 1 1. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. Back. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout. It's 7 4. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And yeah, the batter now, Nicky oh. Lopez. Check right, swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the oh. offense fired right. up, and you start to expect a big inning. Yeah, Wouldn't cool. chase that time. Get 
gets a piece and stays alive. The Strohs leading by three here at the bottom of the seventh. And a ground ball to first. That's a fair ball down the right field line. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so yeah, much yeah, more likely yeah. to get something you can handle. Just one of those seeing eye base oh, hits through the oh, infield. Oh, oh. Just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Yep. Oh, Falling dude. behind two and one. Two and one. So the batting of her turns over, and now Tommy Fan. And a pitch. And now it's even up. Lopez over at first with one away. Struck him out swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. Here's the White Sox DH, Gavin Sheets. Pulls that one foul. Well struck right field. He's got it, and that's the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Johnny Brevia. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And now the DH. The wind of the pitch. And strike two. Clearly a solid fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. So up next, Jake Myers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Oh. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Coming on is Fam to make the play, and that is that. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Seth Martinez hasn't pitched in the last three days. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Next offer in there for a strike. One ball and two. And another ball. If you're in the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Wouldn't chase that time. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Ground ball right side could be two. Altuve toss the second back to first, and that is a double play. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. I think four six three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes. Because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. Here's a one two. High fly ball right field. McCormick has it sized up. 
makes the catch and that ends the inning. Here on the south side and here's the first baseman Mauricio Dubon. A why to kick the pitch. Fights it off he'll see another. The 2 2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. One down, base is empty. Splits the plate, one and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Now two away. So the lineup flips over. We'll say Altuve up to it here. Next pitch is downstairs. Out to short, Lopez. On to first, and they get Altuve for the out. And that is that. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Josh Hader. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Lennon Sosa steps to the plate for the White Sox. The pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Kicks and fires. Ground ball to the right side. Oh. And it goes just foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight and back. He's two outs away. Danny Mendel steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a one-two. Should be extra bases. Makes the turn and hits for second. In there safely. Put some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after yeah. contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Okay. So they're down to their final out. Martin Maldonado steps to the plate for the White Sox. Maldonado. Man on second, two down. Right through there for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Oh. And another ball. The White Sox down to their final strike. Mendick stands at second with two gone. Got it. And that'll do it. This was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.